welcome to another day. I am bundled up. It is chilly and damp. And yeah, it's just winter, I guess, in Northeast Ohio. Um, in any event, this vlog's gonna be a little all over the place, I think, maybe this time. Um, I've got a full week slash weekend, end of week weekend, coming up of like festive activities to do and a million things on the to-do list and that too. So it's definitely gonna be kind of an all over the place vlog. Um, today though is just gonna be a little bit of a cozy day. I think I'm going to run an errand. I need to um, run out to Joanne's, Joanne Fabrics, because I need to pick up some ribbon and they're doing like this huge door buster thing or whatever. And I think I have a delivery coming today that I need to sign for. So I gotta make sure that I'm home when FedEx arrives or that'll be bad. Um, yeah, it's just a lot going on. I've got a dinner tomorrow night and then I've got a concert this weekend and then I'm going up to Medina and then I have an event Sunday at the winery. It's, it's just a lot going on. So I'm um, trying to have a cozy day and get done as much errand things as I can today and just go from there, I guess. Um, and I need to steam a dress for this weekend too. I got the cutest holiday dress I'll show you um, in a little bit. And then um, I need to steam it though. I think I'm gonna wear it this weekend to something. I don't know. Um, so let's get this day going. All right, so this is my gorgeous dress that came. Just got it down here. I'm gonna steam some of these wrinkles out from the shipping, how they had it like in there. It's got this belt that ties around. I might swap that out. I like my own belt. Um, it's made out of flannel, even though it looks like you can see through it. You can't when it's on. Um, but it's actually made out of like a flannel material. It's this beautiful A-line little fullness to the skirt in the black watch plaid so adorable definitely need to wear that this weekend so i will link it in the description box down below for you but i'm gonna take a minute and steam those wrinkles out while i've got a little bit of time and then um then i'm gonna run to joanne's and um touch base with my aunt there and pick up some ribbon that's the plan. dress steamed and ready so I'll take it up and hang it on the back of the closet door I know it seems odd to steam down here but it's just where I find it easier to do it so I am going to um, pull some boots on grab my jacket and head out to Joanne's and run an errand there um, yeah hopefully hopefully I make it back for the delivery um, it's at between 1 30 and 3 30 so should make it back to sign for um, my delivery from FedEx in time. So, andiamo.
right, hello, I am back. I got my ribbon, I was able to touch base with my aunt, and I got back just in time as the FedEx truck was pulling up. So, got my delivery, good timing, and um, yeah, let me show you. Holiday box of splash wine here for the holiday stock up. So let's dig into this and get it opened up. Dante had a fit with me trying to drag this through, but it's super heavy. Um, I'm just glad I made it back in time, but yeah, let's open up. You can see I still didn't take my dress upstairs yet, but I wanted to get going so that I could get back in time, which is a good thing that I did. Because I might have missed my delivery. Are you gonna help me? Are you trying to help me? Okay, oh, go. All right, so I have got my splash delivery here. Love how these come. They come um, packaged up. So great. Oh, I can't even tip that for you. It's so heavy. Um, but they're like really secure in there so that they don't get um, broke or anything. I've never had one broke um, yet. But one time they did ship it back before it ever even came here. So I think they knew that it got broke or something. I don't know. Um, but I just went for a mix case to see, um, you know, they're perfect for gifting. You know, if you need to take a hostess gift or something, just tie some ribbon around the neck of the bottle, take it with you, perfect hostess gift. And you never know who's stopping by throughout the holidays too. So um, I have a code I will put in the description box for you to get $25 off your first order. So I will plug that in to the um, description box for you. Let me know um, if you've tried them, Splash or any of like the wine delivery things and um, what you think of them. I have not really had a bottle I haven't liked yet. So I've been pretty happy with it um, overall so far. And there does seem to be like a good variety in here of reds and whites um, from different places some unique labels. Sometimes I go by the label, like he's riding like a big wheel bicycle as a clock or something. That might be cute to say for New Year's. Um, but yeah, and there's a red version of that same brand of wine. So I'll have to go through and see. Um, they sent one, two, three, four, five, six, 18 um, bottles. So I am going to um, get this put down into the rack in the basement, get the box out of here, break it down. But um, yeah, glad I made it for my delivery and I will, like I said, put the um, link for you in the description box for $25 off your first order. And they do free shipping as well, but I think you have to go in multiples of six bottles. I don't think you could do less than six. All right, let me get this all put away. Hello, it is brisk out. We've had snow and it is a little icy, but I am heading out and braving it. Going to go meet a friend for dinner and um, going to one of my favorite Italian restaurants, that Aqua Pazzo. So I'll show you in there and hopefully they're decorated for Christmas. I don't know that I've ever gone there at the holidays, so I'm kind of interested to see um, what kind of decor and holiday cheer they put up there, so. Andiamo. see right now that my chin is bleeding. I just picked up Coco and I think she scratched me and I didn't realize it. 
Lovely, lovely times on a day going out. Just tops off my day. So let's talk about my day while I'm getting ready. Let's just talk about this. So, yeah. First of all, this concert today, I had someone to go with. And then they backed out at the last minute. Well, not last minute. I mean, I had like a day and a half notice, I guess. So technically not last minute. Yes, we're having a glass of wine while we're getting ready for this because this, it was a day. It, it, it's been two days. I didn't check back in with you yesterday. Um, God, that actually kind of stings now too. Um, I don't know. Yesterday was just like a lazy day, whatever. Yesterday was the day too that I found out that I had to find someone else to go to the concert with me. So I spent all day like texting everyone and their mother in my address book. It came down to like the 30th hour and I got someone that I used to work with named Morgan to go with me. So got someone to go with me. Um, in any regard, we're getting ready to go to this concert tonight. We're going to see Pam Tillis tonight, a 90s country concert that I really like. How am I going to get this to quit bleeding, like, soon? And not Scar. Oh, my God. Okay, um, but yesterday going through the address book like trying to find everybody it's the holiday season the beginning of the holiday season so everyone has plans or they were sick like three people i know have covid right now who knew whatever um yeah i don't know who would lie about having covid this is really gonna bother me all night i'm gonna be like touching that all night and it's so red Good thing we're putting on more makeup. I will just cover that stuff up like a drag queen. I don't know. Um, anyway. Went through, like, everything. Didn't find anyone until, like, today to go to the concert with me. But did find Morgan. Thank God, Morgan. Um, anyway. I wake up this morning to start to do some work and different things or what have you. And I hear banging and banging and the dog's barking like crazy. Neighbor is having work done again. It's the second time I've had to deal with trying to work and a construction going on next door that keeps the dog barking like all day, all day long dog just carrying on up a storm and because this is why I need to move in the country too where I'm at the houses are kind of like really close together and when one person has like major work done it kind of just vibrates the whole neighborhood it's insane it, it's not a good situation um I really need to move to the country and not have neighbors or anything that's going to affect me or bother me. You need to back up because this is a really unflattering view. So I have to move all of these myriad of bottles here to be able to back you up because uh, now we're not going to perfume and doing everything else. Okay, a little better. I just like you were seeing my pores even here for a minute. Um, yeah, so it has been like a nonstop headache. Construction was working from 7.30 until four o'clock, almost. Almost four o'clock. I didn't find anyone to go with me. Um, Morgan didn't answer until about 2.30 about going to the concert or not. And it's just been chaotic. So I didn't know if I was going out, but I did know I had a headache between the dog barking, trying to work, not being able to do anything. And now I'm like completely broke out and I've got this cut on my chin. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. 
but I'm wearing my new dress, so that part is at least good, and we're just going to get over it and try and have a good night, right? Because that's all you can do. Move on and enjoy the holiday and try and have a good night and just do things. So I pulled on my dress that I steamed that I was very excited about. Let's get some of this and see if we can stop the bleeding. I'm using that Bare Minerals powder because I'm out of the concealer. Okay, no. It's not stopping it. Oh, hopefully tomorrow it'll cover better. It's just set stuff, I don't know, so it doesn't run off with the blood. Um, Just tops my day. I mean, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I don't know what else to do about it. Nothing I can do. I look like I look. All right. Um, yeah, so I was trying to do some like conference calls today. If I'd have known, I would have not done conference calls today. Didn't know ahead of time that Dante would be in full blown Cujo mode or that there would be somebody drilling in the neighborhood all day again. I feel like they should have to tell you how much they're doing, how intense it is. They just have to tell every neighbor. Okay, we gotta figure out something with that. I think I have one of those guys things that's like a, when they nick themselves, there's like a beard stick thing or something. I think I have one of those. So we will get that to get my chin to quit bleeding. Poor little Coco didn't mean to do it. But she did. In any event, okay, so tonight then, what I'm getting ready for, and absolutely need to get ready for, this is very chatty and long for no apparent reason, except that I've had mass chaos today in my life, um, is Pam Tillis concert with Phil Vassar in Warren. And it is at Robbins Theater, which is a venue that I have not been to. So I have no idea what it's like or what parking's like or any of that. So I actually called a car because I don't want to deal with driving or parking or any of that. Or um, I don't know, Warren's been in the news lately too as far as not being necessarily the safest area. Although I don't know which areas that is or what part I'm going into. So I'm not going to judge a book by its cover, just by the name. Um, and we will see. Maybe I'm going to a nice part of Warren. I don't know. But we're not going to drive there and deal with parking and having to walk two blocks by myself to a venue that I'm not familiar with to meet Morgan there. So Red Bow, Black Bow. Black bow. Black watch, black bow. Okay. So I think my hair is just gonna look similar to how it did going to the ballet when that woman insisted on taking my picture, which is fine as well. I am going to pull out though my um, cowboy boots. I think I'm gonna wear my cowboy boots. I haven't worn them since not this past summer, but two summers ago to, who did I go see? And it was a lawn concert and I wore my boots with jeans and I remember pulling them up and then walking around barefoot. Who did I go see? And I was disappointed in them, not in the music, but I didn't realize they were so fat, which sounds terrible too. This is really a frank chatty blog right now. Um. God, who was that? 
I'll think of it. When I think of it, I'll stick it down in the comments. Maybe not the comments, but I'll tag it if I think of it. Um, who they were. It was like a country boy band kind of thing. And we went to Pittsburgh. I went with Amy. Amy's usually my concert buddy. And I tried her first. When I found out my plans fell through and she's one of the ones who has COVID. Poor Amy. All right, what do we think? Looks good. All right, I think being going out and a concert thing, we should do red lips. Oh, plus it'll match the blood on my chin. Why not red lips, right? It'll match everything. The blood on my chin, contrast, holidays, whatever. So I just use the um, Chanel Carmen color that matches my car in the summer. And also apparently matches the blood on my chin. Okay, we're ready. Let's go and show you the full outfit before the car gets here because, like I said, I wasn't going to drive over there, so I called a lift. So, they're on their way. All right. So, so chatty. And I do apologize for that, but it has been a day, and that's just sometimes how I get through it. I just chat about it and deal with it, and I got to vent and do every which thing. Um, I do have on these tights with my dress because it's a little chilly, so I didn't want my legs just showing. I decided just to go with the ribbon, um, well, not ribbon, but the belt that matched the dress that came with it for tonight. Um, and I put on these comfy socks because my cowboy boots are a little um, oversized for me. You could see like the pile of mess some laundry behind me and also like the start at the beginning of the gifts that I'm hiding all over the bed here. Um, in any regard, I wanted my feet to be cozy and I also needed like bigger to fit in my boots. So every time I wear these boots, but I figured it's a 90s country concert. You gotta wear the cowboy boots, right? Like you just got to. Where else are you wearing them? And Every time I do, though, oh, I'm carrying the camera, I'm sorry. Um, my dad calls them my Kikaricha killers. I know. That's also very kind of prejudiced, right, Dad? Um, but in any regard, that's what I got. I think it came out as a cute outfit. I mean... Can tell us a 90s country concert. Where else are you gonna wear these boots? Right? Where else? Gotta wear them. Gotta do it. It's cute. And then I am just going to also take with me, um, it's still a little warm tonight, so I'm going to take my leather blazer with me and um, just a no name black crossbody because, like I said, I don't know. This neighborhood exactly so I am glad that I'm taking a lift because they'll drop me off at the door of the venue but in any regard Andiamo Morgan is awaiting hello I am back home it is late it has been a long day but I am pleased to report that my chin has stopped bleeding Although my breakouts have not stopped growing. Um, I'm not sure why I'm breaking out, but whatever. Anyway, we're in bed. Dante is off somewhere still with his ball. Yeah, yeah, Coco. So we're going to end this here, but I do want to show you um, I need to be up early in the morning, so I put on the new Candy Cane Lane, 
with Eddie Murphy, which I'm probably not going to make it all the way through, but this is the view. This is why we need a tree in the bedroom. There is nothing better than laying there at the holiday season and falling asleep with a lit tree in the bedroom watching a Christmas movie. Tell me, is there anything better? I think not. I think not. There is absolutely nothing better. It just eases the bad day I had. Even though the concert was great, it was fun, but it was the end of a hectic day. And this is just the piasta decor, the end, the topper, the best ending. A lit Christmas tree and a Christmas movie laying in bed. There is nothing better at the holiday season to me. I would want a tree in my bedroom. If I could only have one tree, I would pick the tree in the bedroom before the tree in the living room. I really would. Because I enjoy it more. All right. In any regard, this is where I leave you for the night. And I go to bed and get beauty rest and hope that, you know, whatever face serums I have put on do their magic and heal my cut and my acne that's coming out and I get up and drive safely to Medina in the morning. So I will see you tomorrow. Buonasera.